President Donald Trump announced plans to renegotiate the North American Free Trade Agreement just a few weeks ago. The announcement has sparked the creation of a special committee right here in the Valley. CBS 4's Priscilla Estrada explains. As the sixth largest port of entry in the U.S., uh, you know, we, we have to be responsible enough to take these issues and meet with the right folks. Director of the Far Reynosa International Bridge and his newly created Far NAFTA Modernization Committee are sharing their viewpoints with top legislators in Washington to narrow down on issues that play a key role in reshaping the North American Free Trade Agreement. Well, um, he's on the front line of the portion dealing with Mexico, and uh, certainly he has ideas that, that I think will be helpful in Washington, and, uh, you know, first-hand ideas that you don't get from places far away like Washington, D.C., so I think input that he can bring along with others uh, who do business along the border and in trade with both Mexico and Canada, I think are very valuable to the renegotiation of this agreement. President Donald Trump recently announced through a congressional letter from U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthouser that he does in fact plan to renegotiate NAFTA, but the letter is not exactly clear on what will change. Well, the world has changed in the last 23 years, and uh, certainly NAFTA has been a good, uh, a good agreement that we have with our neighbors to the north and south, and we should keep it. Uh, however, I think, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, refining the agreement and improving it. The committee recently traveled to Washington and plans to travel to Washington later this month to deliver a testimonial to the legislators who are instrumental in the reshaping of NAFTA. The testimonial will address issues that could affect trade, especially fair trade, rules of origin, technical barriers, and labor. Uh, what, what we would like to see is, you know, again, take this opportunity as an opportunity and say, can we have matching hours of operation? You know, when Mexico closes, uh, we have tra trucks that do back up because they have to wait for the following day. Basan says the simple changes of hours of operation will allow shorter wait times and allow more trade to travel through the port of entry. But at this point in time, you know, it's imperative that we all get on the same platform, on the same page, and we all share the same message. Obviously, uh, if we need to extend those those points of interest or those, those focus points, uh, those bullets, we, we will. We will. And take that message uh, straight to the legislators, straight to the folks that are going to reshape NAFTA. In FAR, Priscilla Estrada, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. The committee will travel to Washington at the end of this month to, to deliver that testimonial to legislatures.